This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on manual color correction inside Final Cut Pro 10. This excerpt talks about how to use the Broadcast Safe Filter. There's another issue here that I want to talk about, and that is if I go to the scope, and let's hide the inspector, go to the waveform. Notice I've got on the waveform Luma. Notice I've got some white levels that are too high here. How do I trap those? We need to apply, there's a good example. Look at that one right there. How do we trap it? We use the Broadcast Safe filter. The Broadcast Safe filter is in the Effects Library in the Basics category, and there's Broadcast Safe. If we grab the Broadcast Safe filter and just drag it on top of the clip, the default settings are sufficient that it's now clamped that headlight so that headlight is locked right at 100%. And it also clamps any black levels that go through, and your black levels are clamped at 0%. So the Broadcast Safe filter is applied to trap excessive whites and to trap excessive blacks. The only problem with the Broadcast Safe filter is this. The Broadcast Safe filter is applied before the color filter. This is just wrong. It should be applied after the color filter. It should go color first and then Broadcast Safe filter. So far, Apple has not made that happen. It's the way it worked inside Final Cut 7 because the, the problem with the Broadcast Safe filter is you trap a chroma level, you trap a white level, then you go in and make a color adjustment which exceeds zero, the broadcast safe isn't able to trap it a second time. But for stuff that you're not doing a major job on adjusting, the broadcast safe filter guarantees that your white levels don't exceed zero and your black levels don't go below 100%. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz store and look for Webinar 71.